Good morning, Marmy. Happy Wednesday. The week kind of got away from me, but thankfully I do have footage from yesterday, which was Tuesday, which was Vesakhi for us. And so Vesakhi is a very big Sikh celebration. Not only does it fall in line with the harvest of crops in Punjab, it also is the anniversary date of the birth of the Khalsa. Basically it means that it is the anniversary of a day in 1699 when Sikhism became like a collective faith. So it was a big day for us. We're still here in the stay at home order. And so we had to modify celebrations, which we've had to do the last two years, I guess. We did have some fun. I cooked something nice for dinner um, and I want to show you guys all of that. So check it out. Kavid, I like this pattern. Thank you. Jora, are you processing? You're thinking about how to do it? Making your plan? Okay. Look at these huge art kits. That's not all. Yeah, your art kit is huge. Yeah. Kabir, you're dropping cracker crumbs on your picture. Mom. Yeah. It's a multi person, uh, person and it comes with four of these clips to clip your artwork on. Yeah, so you can clip it into it. Let's see yours. Are you gonna get started? What are you doing now? What are you doing now, Ajit? Ajit? <laughs> It's time for us to do our coloring. Stop eating chips. <laughs> Hello? 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 <coughs> Ajit? Earth to Ajit. Earth to Ajit. Ajit. Mm -hmm. Earth to Ajit. Say something! Say something! Say something. Talk? Say Arr, something. Talk. Talk to talk to. I ate my chips. Very good. <laughs> Um, butter paneer recipe that I made the other day, but I'm not gonna add any spices in it like as in I'm not gonna make it spicy for the kids so they can have it too. I happen to have everything for it So we're gonna try making that Happy Visaki. Visaki. Dinner, I am making butter paneer Smells amazing. Like the kids like. Alright, so Harpreet is actually off today I thought he was off Thursday and Friday, but he's telling me he was also off today So he went for a run this morning and now I think he's in the shower. I don't know, but it's like past 12 Big kids are playing video games. Ajith, I think, is watching something. I'm trying not to let it stress me out. It is a beautiful day outside, and I'm trying to just like soak in a little bit of the sunshine because it's been really cold and rainy, which has really sucked for spring break. Spring break during a stay-at-home order should be like illegal. We're trying to make the best of it, but that coupled with like days of rain was like horrible. So I feel like the sun is helping. I'm feeling a little bit better. But talking to a lot of you guys over on Instagram, we all need an emotional support group apparently. We're all feeling like really drained because we have this constant mom guilt about letting the kids like play video games and watch TV all day. But at the same time, you're like, what? Like I can't engage you 24 hours a day because like it's exhausting it's tiring to do that all the time so yesterday we did a couple of fun activities like you saw and today honestly i think it's an outside day harper hopefully can work on this dethatching the lawn or whatever and get that done and look he did it in this area and look the lawn looks pretty decent there so he needs to do the rest of the yard he was saying he needs a couple hours to get it done so i don't know if he's planning to do that today although my personal opinion is that he should because we don't know when it's gonna rain again and also a quick little shout out to the video that went live today it's harpreet and my like date night video like the pandemic check-in talking about stay-at-home orders harpreet's jokes were on fire in that video so if you have not seen it click the i and check it out for some laughs my god you need someone who helps make you laugh in the middle of arguments and in a global pandemic you need that laughter so click the eye and check out that video and look who it is it's hudderson what's wrong what's wrong buddy it's hudderson butterson we first we start calling him hudson then huddy then hutter then nutter then nutter butter and now just butterson he has all kinds of names hey no why are you so bitey let's be nice oh gentle yes good boy good good gentle Good gentle. Sweetness. Sweetness. All right. See, I'm sitting on the floor with you. You know I don't want you on the sofa, but you don't seem to care that I don't want you on the sofa. You just go anyways, right? It's okay, we're not mad about it. So Hudson has been extra bitey lately. He was like biting my kitchen mat and all kinds of stuff. 
I don't know if it's just a phase, he's bored. I mean, it was a couple of days of rain, so his walks were like minimal. Um, he gets a lot of outdoor time, but maybe he was bored. I take him out to play catch and stuff. He loves catching the tennis ball, but I think we need some new toys at home. New toys to keep this guy entertained. I remember when I was so worried about his grooming, guys. Like, it hasn't even been a month, and he's like so fluffy. Or no, it's just been a month. It's been like five weeks. And he's like so fluffy already and ready for another grooming. So the dethatcher is creating so many bags of yard waste. They're all over. And we still have like this section to do and the section at the side of the house. It's taking forever. Hello, kids. Happy Thursday. How's spring break going? Terrible. Really? <laughs> Why is it terrible? <laughs> It's good. We had to stay up all day all night to finish the backyard. Oh yes, so we were doing this dethashing. And you know, after you guys went to sleep, Dad made me help him again and put it's all the grass in the bag. Yes. And you know how many bags we have? 25. 20, 25 bags of, uh, of dead grass. It's okay. okay, hold on. Now they need me to turn on their Wi-Fi. I have to just turn it off sometimes because me constantly telling them their time is up is not always effective. Basement playtime. We're really pulling up threads for entertainment. Okay. okay. Wait, wait, wait. Draw buddy, stop for a second. Stop for a second. Draw buddy, stop for a second. Putting all these cardboard boxes to use. So in this week's episode of Cooking with Tina, I am making cauliflower wings. I'm gonna get this together, stick them in the air fryer, and hopefully they're gonna taste amazing. We shall see. All right, looks good and tastes pretty good too. Um, I would prefer to be a little bit crunchier, but you're using a limited amount of almond flour and all cauliflower are different sizes. So we're kind of estimating with the portions of each item, but it does taste good. Good morning, Harpreet. Happy Friday. Good morning. We haven't seen you at all, really, in the vlog this week. I didn't make a cut, I guess. <laughs> no, you just weren't around. He was on vacation living the good life, doing his own thing. And now, are you getting ready to work out? Yes, I am. Did you get some protein and pre-workout? I'm pretty excited about it. I was not excited about the protein at all. I won't tell you guys why, but maybe you guys can guess. I won't <laughs> tell you guys why. I'm not excited about Harper taking protein, but you know. So Harper, stay at home orders continue. I interesting news is they're considering even more restrictions as of today as our numbers are climbing. So we're gonna see what gets announced today. Yeah. We may be jailed. <laughs> no, curfew and end of curfew and end of construction. End of construction jobs, all that kind of stuff might happen because the ICU numbers are so high. So that's the problem, the ICU is like overloaded. I don't know, it's just everything was on the table right now. So we'll see. So they're announcing something today? It says we'll hear something today. When? I don't know, I'll have to check CP24 and see what time they're <laughs> announcing. Usually it's in the afternoon, usually one or two o'clock. And then these days, Ford has been showing up late just for the anticipation, like it should be two o'clock. At 2.43 he like rolls in. <sighs> So, we may end this vlog early since we'll just be stuck in these four walls. And these are quarantine vlogs too. These are quarantine vlogs. These are stay at home order vlogs. Okay, Harpreet, and how many bags, yard waste bags, did we get from dethatching the lawn with your fabulous dethatcher? Oh man, 25. I feel like there's probably another 20 in there. You're supposed to do it multiple times. We're not doing that. I didn't even want to do it the first time. I hate this thing. You know what I think might be better last time? Because it has a bag on it. We kept the bag on it. And uh, so we stopped every like five, ten feet. Yeah, to empty the bag. The bag was small. I think what might be better actually is to just go. Just maybe take the bag off mm -hmm, and just go and just keep going because uh, people say they rake it. Like people messaged me on Instagram said they just raked it after yeah, they opened the bag. Yeah, actually on. not too bad. Like because it's all just sitting light on top. Yeah, you could just go quickly and rake it after. It's probably quicker to do that way. I think. I think maybe you should sell the one we got and buy a bigger one. <laughs> the, or put the put the lawnmower bag on it. We have a lawnmower bag. We have the bag from our old lawnmower that we left at the like other house. We can try. The only thing is though, the truck gets a beer. It, uh, as it's kicking up the lawn clippings, so mm -hmm. 
if it's not kicking it fast enough to go to the back of the bag, it all just get, collects at the front and blocks it anyway. Okay, okay, I don't know these things. I just know that I, all I need to say is that I just don't want to help with the lawn anymore. Okay. <laughs> and also update, the company that we contacted, she had a plan on her back, you're just not even getting back to us. I think we offended them. How did we offend them? You Okay, you guys tell us in the comments down below. Have we been offensive? Okay, so this company, they do like, they do all this kind of um, planning and construction for the yard. Mm -hmm. And so we wanted the design element. The design element costs a separate fee, but if you do the work through them, they reimburse it. We it. figured that the work we were gonna plan out was gonna take several years to do. We talked about that, right? Like it's gonna be in stages across a couple years. And so we want to work in a minimum mm -hmm. spend. Like if you work at a minimum spend of X, would you reimburse the cost? It's not offensive, they can just say no. And it's Anyways, I guess they've been busy. And I think they're busy. I think everyone's just doing stuff with their house right now because there's nothing else to do. COVID life. So, Harpreet's going to work out with this squat rack. Bye, Harpreet. I'm gonna go shower and get ready. I'm doing a live stream on Instagram today with my friend Raj from This Mama Needs a Vacay. We are doing a support group for all the moms who are stuck with um, stay at home spring break because not only are the kids annoyed, the moms are annoyed. The kids are taking out their annoyance on the moms, I'm telling you. That's what's going down, so I'm getting ready to do that. Set, what are we doing right now? Moving it. Moving it. What are we making? Pizza. Egg. What do you like on your pizza? Cheese. What do you like on cheese? Oh, you like lots of vegetables too, right? You like lots of veggies on your pizza, Jeets? You want hot peppers on it? I want cheese. Just cheese? Yeah. Why? Our vegetables are so yummy. Okay, I'll put vegetables on yours, okay? No, I put cheese. Cheese and vegetables? Oh, okay. Okay. No, cheese. <laughs> Just cheese, okay. Hudson, don't let Hudson get that, Hudson. Hudson is trying to sit beside me, sitting all obedient because he wants to have pieces of cheese. He's being successful so far. This will be a very nice treat for the kids after helping to dethatch the lawn. So now, we did it a second time today. We have 40 yard waste bags. I don't even know if they're gonna pick these up all in one shot, we will see. Getting my truffles ready for my keto pizza and this was like everyone else's pizza. Oh my God, look how good it looks. How good it looks. What, what, what happened last time you were with them? You have each other. Hello, happy Sunday. That's right, I missed all the vlogging Saturday and today um, on purpose. So, the new orders are in. Our stay-at-home order will be in place for another two weeks, like an additional two weeks on top of when it was already supposed to end. It was supposed to end like May 8th, I think. Um, anyway, so it's two weeks extended. Um, they also closed all playgrounds and gave police the right to stop people and ask where they're going and ask for proof of address um, to make sure that our outings are essential. Now, um, among that you also can't leave the Ontario borders like by car like you can't like drive to the next province or whatever um, Flights are controlled by the federal government and so they haven't changed that but the provincial government I guess had the power to say like we're gonna be asking people at the borders for the reason for travel and making sure that it's essential um, So that was announced Friday. It went into effect Saturday at like at 12.01 a.m um, since then most of the police like divisions um, or units or whatever because the, the gta greater toronto area is really big so every area a city has their own like police force most of them i think have come out and said like we're not going to do this because we can't just stop people for for no reason other than to ask them where they live and where they're going if what they're doing is essential because that's technically against the law i mean it sounds sure like a human rights violation and i think that's kind of what it is so a lot of them said that we are not going to do that so since then they actually went and announced that they are not going to be closing playgrounds like they said they were going to um, I understand that they don't want people congregating, but it's outdoor. Kids need something to do. We now have the stay-at-home order where we literally can just stay in our own neighborhood. Um, and I don't know how many people are going to follow this. I'm going to be honest. Like, I don't know how many people are going to follow these rules because you're adding another two weeks onto a month-long stay-at-home order, and it's just a mess. So I didn't vlog because, honestly, I was a little bit emotionally drained from the whole situation. Um, and I think most people in Ontario were like just the response on social like I was kind of just like behind the scenes sort of seeing what's going on in social because I didn't really want to comment because I already had all my own feelings to deal with um, and people are really really upset and they're like I, we can't believe a year later we're still in this situation the vaccine rollout is not fast enough here and I know I heard from um, someone in the comments I think last week or the week before saying that Canada is not behind on the rollout and that in BC they're, do they're actually ahead of schedule 
I can tell you here that there is a shortage and Ontario is not getting enough vaccines. They had like a couple of clinics in Toronto that had to be shut down last week due to lack of supply. So people who had appointments booked from like Wednesday to Friday or something, their appointments were canceled because they didn't have enough vaccine to cover their appointments. Um, and that's not acceptable. I mean, it is what it is. Like the provincial government is waiting on the federal government to get them more vaccines. And the provinces sort of figure out how they divide up their vaccines, but we just don't have enough. And our ICU numbers are at an all time high. Um, so it's a really scary time. I think Ontario is actually calling in help from other provinces in terms of other healthcare workers are coming to province into our province to help out. We're creating more ICU beds and random temporary places and it's a whole, whole hot mess. So anyways, it is Sunday night. That is the situation here. I didn't even bother to edit this vlog earlier because I was in such a funk. So that's our situation. I hope to see you in better spirits next week. I mean, I think the week started off kind of positive, I think. Right? I can't even remember now. It feels every day feels so long. I just don't even remember what it was like the beginning of the week. But I hope to greet you with more positivity next week and hopefully hopefully we're gonna get through this. Hopefully the numbers come down now that they're doing even like a more strict shutdown. Hopefully we'll see some results from that. And hopefully we can get some more vaccines and get more people vaccinated here, especially in the areas that really need it, like the hotspot neighborhoods. Um, and all the essential workers and people who work in stores and work in banks, like all those places, like the people who have to be there get these people vaccinated. So that is the situation here in Ontario, which is kind of why it's been a little bit of a rough two days. Um, but I just want to update you guys on that. So with that, I'm going to end off today's vlog. I hope you guys had fun joining us this week. If you did, join us again next time. If you enjoy our vlogs and the videos, subscribe to the channel and stay a while. Join the Marmee. March on, Marmee.